that's chapter two. Man, this book is getting exciting, right? So clearly that fifth man was still hiding in that room. And he was the one in charge of stealing the Star Spangled Banner flag. So you might have heard some things in there, and I wanted to just clarify. The Star Spangled Banner is in a room all by itself in the American Museum of History in Washington, D.C. And it's in that room, and the room is temperature controlled, and it is very dark. It has very low lighting so that the light doesn't fade the colors of the flag. And just as it was described, it's behind a double locked door, steel door that, you know, you have to get retina scanned to get in. So it is a very prized possession of our country. And it is the flag that was, um, that inspired the writing of the Star Spangled Banner that we still sing today. It was originally a poem that was written by Francis Scott Key. And Francis Scott Key was a prisoner on a British warship um, that was surrounding Fort McHenry. And uh, Francis Scott Key, when he woke up the next morning, he looked out the porthole of his, you know, um, holding cell, and he could see that the flag over Fort McHenry was still there. It was still flying. And he was inspired to write a poem that later became our national anthem. So there's a little history lesson for you. That's why this is one of Mrs. Lanero's favorite books, because it's chock full of history. All right. I hope you were listening for similes and metaphors and all that fantastic author's craft. I'm sure that you heard descriptions of setting occurring in there, maybe even a little description of character. So if you have a journal, write down your think notes and or type them into the Google Classroom to tell me what you think. All right. I can't wait to read chapter three tomorrow. See you then. Bye.